Hey guys! Hello, I'm back. Oh my gosh. I have been gone from YouTube for a hot minute. I, wow. The last video I posted on my channel was on May 1st, which was my favorites video, which was like weeks ago. I felt like it was like two weeks. No, it was less. No. Still, a long time. I know I rarely take breaks like this, but when I tell you I needed it, I really, really needed it. There were so many things going on in April and I was working so much and trying to do so much that I kind of hit a wall. And while I was 100% prepared and ready, mentally I felt like I needed a little bit of a break. So I took a step back from YouTube and from working in general, I literally took a week off of work and work on some personal things I wanted to do and read a little bit and I just, I needed to refocus. Everything has slowly fallen into place now and I feel like I'm at a point where I can keep going. Thank you so much for allowing me to take some days off. It was so so appreciated and so needed and I love you guys for that. We are back with a brand new video and although it may seem boring and pointless, I really wanted to do this because every single time I leave my house and I go out, I always get asked what mascara I'm wearing or I always get complimented on my lashes, which is really weird because I feel like I've always had somewhat of a pretty decent mascara routine. I mean, I actually did this video like over a year ago, it was how to get big lashes without falsies. It's pretty much the exact same video I'm doing now, but it's an updated mascara routine because products I've been using recently have made such a difference and they're huge game changers when it comes to my lashes. And I recently spoke about my favorite mascara combo in my favorites video, or was it my Sephora? VIB recommendations video, I'm not sure, but I got a few comments from you guys asking me to do an entire video dedicated to my mascara routine. And at first I thought that might be kind of boring and dumb, but then I thought, you know what? I learned everything about makeup on YouTube. And even though there aren't as many how-to videos out there anymore, I feel like they're still being searched for. You know what I mean? So even though there are a thousand tutorials already on YouTube, it's always nice to get a fresh new outlook, try new things with new products. And that's why I'm still gonna film this video today, even though I've filmed this video in the past. <laughs> so I have four products I think are absolutely necessary to get super massive lashes, and I will show you what I'm using as I use them, but I do wanna mention that these products are pretty pricey. Everything I'm using is high-end, but feel free to use drugstore products in place of these. You can definitely use a drugstore mascara, primer, lash curler, comb, like you can definitely use what you have at home, but these are just the products that I found work best for me. Also, also, I don't do this routine every single time I do my mascara. Honestly, I only do this whenever I'm going for a glam look when I don't want to use falsies, which I'll admit does take up a lot of time. It's not as fast as just plopping on mascara, but the results are so much nicer and they last so much longer. Like if I did this entire routine on this eye and I didn't do it on this one, I just went in with mascara. By the end of the night, these lashes would look pretty straight and these would still be like boom. I only do this when I want my lashes to be really thick and last all day because a lot of times ain't nobody got time for that obviously but anyway i have rambled on enough if you want to see how to get super thick volumizing lashes which i will admit they are pretty thick these are intense lashes if you like length versus volume this video might not be for you but if you like voluminous lashes you might like this video but anyway if you want to see how to get super thick voluminous lashes without falsies then just keep watching Okay, so something I never used to do before, but I found it does make a difference. I know it's ridiculous, but I find that brushing out my lashes before I start with anything makes a difference because I don't know if it's just my lashes, but a lot of the times they like curl together. I guess it happens to me while I'm sleeping, but a lot of the times my bottom lashes will be like curled up. It's the strangest thing. So I like to take my little brush. This is the Morphe B71. I've been using it for years. And lately when I've been traveling, I have actually been using this guy. This is from the Sephora brand and it's called their Lift Off Lash Comb. And this thing is amazing because it like bends down and you could take it traveling. And a lot of the times when I store this guy, the little things will bend and I have to like put them back. So I like that this one is covered, but I love them both. And now we get to the curling part, and I feel like this is the most important part if you're planning on wearing your eyelashes. <laughs> Obviously, you're wearing your eyelashes all day. But if you want them to stay curled and lifted the entire day, curling them is key. Mascara will sometimes look great when you initially apply, and then at the end of the night, you're like, oh, my lashes are like this. 
So you want to make sure you're curling them and I personally would recommend the Shuomura Lash Curler. It's the lash curler I spoke about in my last mascara routine video, but it honestly is the best. I find that the best thing to do is to just get as close to your base as possible and you can kind of feel it. Make sure you are not pinching your skin. Nobody wants that. That hurts like a mofo. Just try to get as close to the lashes as possible. So they may not have like that... Oh gosh, I got like... <laughs> forgot to clean my eyelash curler <laughs> and so I have like mascara damn it <laughs> rookie mistake rookie mistake okay so as you can see I like to just hold my hand there for a little bit to really get those lashes lifted and you can already see a huge difference in my lashes this side is a lot more lifted ready for primer and this side is just like womp womp I'm gonna go ahead and curl the other eye lash oh crap I forgot to clean off the thing again Mother ever. Okay, so now for the product that inspired me to redo this video. This is the Marc Jacobs Prime Velvet Epic Lash Primer. This is a very pricey item, but it, honestly, it's my favorite eyelash primer I have ever used. Simply because it keeps the curl all day. Even if I don't curl my lashes, I find that using this primer just keeps my lashes really bold looking for the entire day. And I really love that. So I'm going to be using this. And I personally like doing one eye at a time. Okay, now once you look like Gigi Hadid at the Met Gala, I just like to leave that sitting on my lashes for a bit. I don't let it get too crunchy because I feel like if I let it dry too much, it doesn't give me the most volume. So I just like to let it sit there for a second before I go in with the mascara. So this part is completely up to you. I feel like you can take all of these steps and then use any mascara you have at home and it will make a huge difference. But I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This mascara is incredible. If you want a really good um, drugstore alternative, I would say get the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paint. Paradise mascara and you'll most likely get the same exact result. So I'm just gonna go in and do two nice coats of this guy. Okay, so because I've been using this mascara like every single day, it is drying up and getting pretty thick. So I like to take my little, and after the first coat, I just comb through the lashes. And then I go in with the second coat. And again, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And now I'm just gonna do that entire process on this eye. So I'm gonna let the mascara just sit there and dry for a second and then I'm gonna go in with my bottom lash mascara. I've told you guys this already, but tubing mascaras are the only mascaras I can wear on my lower lashes now all of a sudden because all of them smudge, I don't know. Is that an aging thing? Like, what is that? All I know is that recently whenever I put any mascara on my lower lashes, it smudges unless it's a tubing one. So here we go. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Mascara. When I'm done doing my lower lashes, I know it seems weird, but I like to just comb my lashes with this mascara. Kind of like a third coat, a finishing touch. And then when you look like Spider Girl, you do another comb through. And that's it. The last time I did this video, I know I said it was super important for me to curl my lashes when I was done adding mascara. And as long as you're waiting for your mascara to completely dry, I don't see a problem with that at all. I used to do it all the time, but I honestly just don't find the need to do that anymore, especially with the Marc Jacobs primer because I was curling my lashes afterward to really keep the curl in place all day. I don't need to do it anymore and I, I just haven't been doing that. Uh, one thing I will do though is when they are completely dry, I just like to kind of press them back and hold it there for a sec. And I find that that kind of lifts them again. Hold them there for a long sec. <laughs> and I'll find myself doing that a few times throughout the day. Kind of bring them back to life in case they do fall flat throughout the day. 
But yeah guys, um, that completes this video. This was my updated mascara routine. I'm not sure if people still do these on YouTube, but I wanted to update you guys and show you how I've been wearing my lashes these days and why I don't really wear falsies. I do agree that some looks just look way better with falsies, but sometimes just a nice thick layer of mascara is enough and I hope this video was helpful in some way. Maybe if it helped someone out there, it was enough. But anyway guys, leave me a comment down below letting me know your holy grail mascara combo. Do you use primer? Do you use an eyelash curler. What is your entire game changing mascara routine? I would love to know. Leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll check it out if I haven't checked it out. But yeah guys, thank you guys so much for letting me take a week off of YouTube. I really, really needed it. And yeah, that completes this video. I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Pretty thick and clunky and, and clumpy.